So the point of this video is to not make some cookie cutter video where I repeat what I heard HGH does or, you know, I go on Google and read the supposed benefits and I just regurgitate those. Okay, I'm gonna go through the research and what I experienced. The amount of HGH that I took for six months was the therapeutic dosage of two IUs. If you go above two, you're getting into more bodybuilding type dosages. Now, without insulin, you can't take a whole bunch of HGH. If you're gonna take six IUs, eight IUs, 10 IUs of HGH, insulin is necessary. HGH competes with insulin. And so if you're taking loads of GH without insulin, you are going to have chronically high blood sugar. And you do not want chronically high blood sugar. It is very, very dangerous and you will completely wreck your body. So I took two IUs for six months straight. This was an experiment that I wanted to do on my own. I wanted to see the type of changes that happened. I wanted to see what all the hype was about. I wanted to see fully what HGH was about. Now, I'll tell you right off the bat, if you're looking to get the most bang for your buck, HGH is the worst thing that you can buy. The reason being is you're gonna have to take HGH for six months minimum to get the full benefits. You cannot run two months on HGH, three months on HGH. It just doesn't work like that. It works in a very, very slow manner. And most people that try HGH, they end up quitting it before the benefits fully kick in. And that's why I did six months because that is the supposed link that you're supposed to take it to where you can see the full benefits. Now, when most people think of HGH, just the general population that's never tried it, they don't understand how mild of a compound it actually is. Uh, one of my friends actually said, HGH is what pretty much gives people superpowers. And that is just so far from the truth. When you compare HGH to anabolic steroids, anabolic steroids blow HGH out of the water. SARMs blow HGH out of the water. It's not even comparable. And to me, it's, it's kind of crazy how popular HGH is being so expensive, but being so slow acting and so mild. It's just like this one thing that people really want but it's just not even anything that you're going to notice. It's just not anything that you're really going to notice on a daily basis. But again, if you're taking insulin and super high amounts of GH, that is a different story. You are in a whole different category. And I am not talking about the bodybuilders that are doing that. I'm talking about the average person, the average gym goer that wants to try HGH. Now, I will tell you what I hated about human growth hormone. The water retention, okay? The water retention for me was significant. It did not matter if I was on a diet. It didn't matter if I was eating next to no sodium. I had a permanent moon face all the time. Didn't matter how lean I was. It's like there was a, a thin layer of water wrapped around my entire body. Now, this is gonna make you feel more full. It's gonna make you have better pumps in the gym. You're gonna fill out your t-shirts a lot better, but it's kind of like a permanent bloated feeling. I personally hated that feeling. I'm not saying by any means that that is necessarily gonna be your experience on HGH. I've seen people that are absolutely peeled to the bone holding little to no water on HGH. The way that you respond is gonna be different than the next person. But I know whether you're taking HGH or MK677, you're gonna have a thin layer of water that you're holding. And when you're dieting, that's very frustrating because you're holding on to so much water, 
you know, you're going in every day, you're weighing yourself and it seems like you're not making much progress because you're holding so much damn water. And people kept telling me, dude, HGH gets you ripped, it gets you shredded. It's one of the best fat burners that you can take. I did not feel that personally on HGH. There is personally nothing that HGH did where I was going around my everyday life and being like, wow, the freaking human growth hormone. It wasn't like that. Now again, I was only taking two IUs. I was not taking a bodybuilding dosage. I have no interest in being on insulin. I feel like that is an awful road to go down. That is just my personal opinion. But at the end of the day, there are so many claims that are just false. Now, I started HGH for number one, the fat burning, number two, anti-aging, and number three, the joints. Now, as far as anti-aging goes, I don't believe in it. I just don't. I mean, there are so many bodybuilders that are on loads and loads of HGH, and they look completely prematurely aged from the anabolics, but you would think if it was truly an anti-aging compound that it would combat the premature aging from the anabolics. And you just don't see that. You know, they, they talk about how it's, it can help you regrow hair. Well, again, if this is like a powerful compound that's anti-aging and helps you regrow hair, why are people on anabolics still prematurely aging and losing their hair? I would feel like, by taking loads and loads of HGH, it would combat the negative effects of steroids, but it doesn't seem to. And there aren't any scientific studies that prove that elevated HGH is actually anti-aging. Um, and I'm not trying to just bash human growth hormone. I'm just trying to tell you guys, you know, if you're on a budget, and you've been dreaming about buying HGH. All I'm saying is it's the worst thing you can buy when you want to get the most out of your money. HGH is gonna give you the absolute least out of your money. Now, if I happen to make some gains from the HGH, I will tell you that it happened very slowly. It happened very subtly. I didn't notice them again. The only thing that I noticed on a daily basis from the HGH was the excess water I was holding. Now, let's go into the good stuff, the things that I did notice. In the six months that I took human growth hormone, it didn't matter how much I trained, it didn't matter how heavy I trained, I never had to take time off from the gym because of sore joints. That is the first time in my entire life that that happened. Typically in the past, um, because of damage that I did to my body when I was younger, um, when I started to train really, really hard and really heavy, um, I would go through periods where I would have to take like a week or two off from the gym because I would have uh, inflamed joints in my shoulders, you know, my elbows might be hurting, my wrists might be hurting. And I'm not the type of guy where when stuff like that flares up, I'm just gonna push through it. I want it to go away. I don't wanna be in chronic pain. And the one thing that HGH was amazing at is keeping that joint pain at bay. So I'm a strong believer in HGH protecting the joints, strong believer. I don't think it's a coincidence that for the first time in my life, I was able to train as hard and as heavy as I wanted and not have to deal with inflamed joints. So that's the one thing that I really appreciate about HGH. The second thing is the sleep quality. Now, strangely enough, some people do get insomnia from HGH. That wasn't me. Whenever I took the HGH, it would put me in a very sleepy state and I would sleep through the night. I made another video on what HGH feels like and I mentioned that. Sleep quality is very good on HGH. And from my personal experience, this is not scientific papers that I'm reading, I'm just telling you what I truly believe. I believe that recovery is much better on HGH. I 100% believe 
that when people get injured or um, they're wanting to recover faster, that HGH is effective in doing this. So prevention from injuries, recovering from injuries, I'm a strong believer that human growth hormone is very good in this department. That is why a ton of pro athletes, especially NFL players, take HGH. When they get injured, they know that they can take it and they can recover much, much faster. I'm talking about half the time it normally takes to recover or even less time. Okay, so this is well known among pro athletes. And again, it just goes back to recovery, protection of the joints, things like that. I am a strong believer that HGH does this. Now, to wrap this video up, other than recovery, I'm not a big believer in HGH when it comes to muscle building, when it comes to anti-aging. I personally don't believe it. Becoming a superhuman, it's not going to happen. Okay, so if you're wanting to recover faster, if you're wanting to protect yourself from injury, in a nutshell, I think that's what HGH is great at. All the other shit, I personally don't believe. Now, if there is research that comes out that shows people are building a significant amount of muscle on HGH, then I'll change my mind. But again, the only guys that are really, really benefiting from growing muscle on HGH are on super high amounts and they're on insulin. So that's all I got to say today, guys. Thank you for watching.